Every minute, a Viking is homeless on the street, wasting money. Please adopt a Viking and like this channel and save a life. We would love a warm and cozy place among your collection of subscribed channels. Please hit that subscribe button and as a thanks to us for our hard work, please like the video. In our arms of Odin, please don't take us away to a great place of Valhalla. All right, so this is my review for the brand new movie that came out, Honest Thief. I saw the trailer for this uh, about a couple of weeks or a week ago, and I was definitely turned off, but at the same time, I really like Lee Sun Nee Sun movies. Lee, Liam Nee Sun. Um, and he stars in this, obviously, as the main uh, character. Uh, along with his lover in this is uh, Kate Walsh. Uh, didn't recognize the I recognized the name, but I didn't put two and together of the actor. So when I saw her, I recognized her immediately. Um, she's an older actress that's very well known uh, for movies. Um, I haven't seen, I don't recall seeing her in anything other than, no, she wasn't in that. Uh, I've seen her in the Superman TV show. So she was in a superhero movie, but it wasn't what I was thinking of. It was Royal Academy, season one and two, as the handler. And I just ignore what I say about her acting later on, because I'm stupid. Part of this is. <laughs> Anyways, and I mean TV show, by the way, not movie. Uh, but the plot of this is Tom, a.k.a. in and out Bandit, a.k.a. Liam Neeson, is a professional bank robber who met this lady one day um, and a year later decides to turn things around and turn himself into the FBI. He, he tries to make a deal, which obviously we're not going to try and sit here and try to be as realistic as possible to the real world because this is Hollywood, they exaggerate things and you're going to expect it. Because um, otherwise it's a, kind of a dumb idea and you're not going to, because they don't decide who it is. Uh, with the, the sentences, but whatever. That's not that's not at all going into this review. I just wanted to just put that out there. Um, but the FBI, FBI agents don't believe him, obviously. And there's a whole bunch of people uh, uh, that have been claiming to be the in and out, which, by the way, is a stupid idea. And if you know, and it, it just for some reason the media has to name everything. Uh, give it a freaking name. I don't. I never understood that. I guess it's uh, it's supposed to be. Uh, 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 I forgot what you call it. Uh, uh, hit thing or something. I don't know. Um, but they go check it out. They found out that he is actually telling the truth. And um, so for some reason. They get to the point in their brain, or at least the head agent is, is that this is $9 million and this could be their pension. Uh, you know, a retirement fund. Um, and this cop doesn't, there's no rule thing around these two agents that have a bad background to it. They're young, they're probably like in their 20, uh, 30s, I would say, maybe the second ones in the 20s, but there's nothing really like their connection to the mob or something you normally get with this stuff. Uh, it was just, hey, it's nine million dollars, I think I can get away with it, so let me just go ahead and you know, I'll steal it and blame it on him. Which is the FBI, they you know, I guess you can argue they can get away with it, but I'm kind of thinking. Knowing what I know now is that if this was like the 50s, 60s, 70s, they most likely could have got away with it. But now it's the 2000s and it's kind of, you know, I mean, but then again, I don't work for the government. So, and there's definitely some difference between the FBI, as, as my understanding, they kind of been neutered quite a bit compared to, you know, what they used to be. Um, 
At this point, I was kind of thinking it was just a pretty stupid idea of a story, but I went along with it because uh, I've seen some okay movies of Neil Neeson. I mean, and then it, I'm a, kind of a big bias when it comes to Neil uh, Neeson. Uh, his movies because they're just fun action movies. I wouldn't say he's a great actor or a good actor, but he's also not bad. Um, he's just a very, he's like Arnold. He, Arnold's not a good actor, he, but he's very entertaining. Same thing with Stallone. They're just known for these big action intense films. Uh, and they're usually just very enjoyable, very thrilling. Uh, but for some reason, But for some reason, the agents wanted to meet with him and kill him. The, the, the main, and this all this revolves around the main agent. The other one is a little bit of a chicken shit who's just going along with it and questioning it. Um, but they wanted to kill him. And so their boss uh, follows up onto Neeson's complaint. Because here's the thing about this movie that I didn't say at the beginning. He, the whole thing started because in the beginning, he wants to turn himself in. You know, turn over a new leaf, uh, make the deal that I said. And, uh, you know, so... So he, they don't, as I said, they don't believe him. So the boss eventually goes and goes to this apartment, or not apartment, but this hotel where he's staying at and opens the door and going there and the two agents are there they're having his has his gun out and wants to kill him so he ends up finding out quickly that they're up to something dirty he doesn't know specifically what so the agent shoots him um okay i i guess i can go with that at this point but it definitely the story gets more the agent's motives in this is definitely a bit questionable, um, and how he then went about it. Um, he went into this hospital because there was a scene where he took Kate's character, and uh, she was up high, and he slammed her. Now, it was pretty violent to, for me to watch. I mean, not saying like that's a bad thing. I was just saying it was just took me back at how violent it was. But it, I'll, and I'll give credit where it's due. It's because it looked like that because of um, how it was shot, the angle of it, which was pretty good. Um, so she's in there and she goes to the hospital and he's the agent goes up to kill him and obviously that doesn't go right away. But what, what I'm getting at is the fact that in this day and age of cameras and the fact that he's in his suit with his badge and he walks up there with a gun to shoot her. No silencer, no mask, just going up there and uh, going to go in her room at night when no one's looking and shoot her. It's pretty obvious, even a, like a half genius would could figure out that uh, they can easily, just by the cameras and by anyone that has seen him, can put two and two together and then he's done. There's a lot of this in here, of his logic in here. And I wasn't really necessarily understanding. I, I mean, I know he wants the retirement fund, but he's an FBI agent. And I don't know how long he's been on there. But... If he, then he just goes on this rampage of uh, of trying to kill, catch him and kill him and then plant the thing on him. Despite there's a lot of flaws into this. And then it just goes into the story that there's a lot of flaws. Um, it's, it's not really a shocker when you know Liam Neeson's characters, the movies he's in is that he's some sort of government agent or used to be or some sort of spy, usually some kill, professional killer, right? He's not in this, but he's an ex-Marine, and this is a standard ex-Marine where he was a bomb diffuser in the wars. Which war? They don't say. Um, I'm assumed by his age and how he talks that it's uh, the Gulf, one of the Gulf Wars. Obviously, because he talks about the, uh, the DUIs or whatever, not DUIs, but... 
Uh, you know, the bomb, the huge bombs in the grounds that uh, uh, Al-Qaeda and ISIS put in the ground and blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, so I thought that was, was good, but for once, I actually wished he was a special... Uh, they actually had the character actually as a Special Forces character. Um, usually, I find that a bit overdone because they hammer the hell out of that in Hollywood with these films. Um, and Liam Neeson's character wasn't necessarily that great either. His motives, I mean. He, he wanted to prove his innocence and what was going on. But he could, he was technically adding up charges of like serious charges of federal law of, uh, you know, endangerment of public health. I mean, the guy blew up the agent's house with a minute. And he says in there that about, oh, I was, my intentions was, my intentions were not to harm, to kill you. And yet, how would you know he go? He's gonna be getting out of the house. I know it's a movie, and they're gonna he's gonna get out, obviously. Um, but it's like his his logic through this also was a bit off. Um, it's, he was definitely at the end going for away for a long time. Obviously, they didn't let him off the hook, which I I don't know if I feel like they should have have and just planted it on him or not. Um, There's definitely a lot of chase scenes in here and a back and forth. Not a whole lot of action. And there's definitely some fist fighting in here. It kind of came off like it was a standard. It wasn't like martial arts type of thing or special ops, which I'm glad they did um, do true to his character. But the cops kind of... I don't know much about self-defense, but I kind of feel like they were leaning towards a little bit of... Uh, of knowing too much. I know FBI training is is uh, pretty close to the military as I hear. And uh, so I could be definitely reading a little too much into that. Um, <laughs> Liam did, does this thing also known in this movie. Where he says he's going to kill someone. And then he does. Like I said that. That is definitely what he's known for. And. Uh, I saw, like I said, I saw the trailer and I was thinking, oh, this is going to be just another one of something he's did. There's going to be a point where his, because he keeps playing the same character and everything with a different story. So that's what threw me off about the trailer. Um, would I say I liked his character in here? No. Uh, I definitely did. I, I don't know if it was his character or the writing. Uh, no, I did like his character. I think it was just the writing because... There was a lot of holes in this story. And um, most of his movies I actually love or have liked to some degree. Um, you know, that's again, that's what his type of movies are. Would I say the bad act? Was there good acting in here? Um, yeah, I think it was, there was good acting, it's just the characters of the agent was a bit off, and I wasn't really, I felt like the head agent, not the bad one, but the one above him, uh, that was the good guy, was a bit stale with his acting. I, uh, I don't, not, I'm, recognize the face of the guy, but I'm, I'm not, can't, off of my head, figure out if, if he's a good actor or not. Uh, uh, and I also kind of feel a little bit left out, I guess you could say, when it comes to Kate Walsh's act acting. Because I haven't seen her in anything in a long time, so I've really not, I guess you could say, familiar with her acting. Um, I, I liked, like I said, most of his movies, but there's been another movie, and I'll have that with that's up, because I couldn't figure it out. Um, what it was, but this is hands down the second movie that I do not like of his. Uh, most of his movies are good. Oh boy, this, this, honestly, I paid $14.99 for this movie. To see it and review it. 
Uh, matter if it's good or not, I'll review it, unless it's like painfully bad. But I feel like I waste my money on this. Um, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, and it wasn't like horrible, and it wasn't really necessarily enjoyable. Um, but it wasn't anywhere good enough as I was expecting it to be, even enjoyable wise. Um, so I'm not going to give it a one out of five, like I normally do with, with certain films. I will definitely give this. Have you seen this movie? Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Did you see any? Did I say anything that's incorrect uh, about stuff that you may or may know? People have been correcting me, which I have no hate for, and I'm definitely, you know, wanting to hear if I have anything, because you know I'm not perfect. So, you know, uh, please, please correct me as long as you do it, you know, nicely. Which you guys have, and I, I very much appreciate that. I'm a very nice guy, but I'm also brutally honest as much as I can. So, um, and that's what my channel is about. I well, one of the reasons, and I just want to, you know, give my views, and people respect mine, and I respect yours. And uh, yeah, have a conversation in the to, the comments. Let me know your thoughts of this movie. Did you like this movie? Have you seen it? Did you were you looking forward to it? Um, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. I love you all, and, uh, skull, everyone. Please stay safe, and happy holidays.